Good morning. This is Angela with the Cup of C on Thursday, July 14th, 2011. Very funny morning it's been, and um, very humorous things going on in the background here. Uh, but that's okay because it fits in perfectly. So on Monday, we were talking about the many paths up the mountain that we take, that each one of us is so individual and that it's such a unique time in our history because it is, we're coming to this culmination. We're all going up the mountain. We're all working on our path to enlightenment or to or 2.0. I have to always throw that in there these days, it seems. But it, we're utilizing the entire sum of our individual is, experiences during this existence to clear it all out now that we've learned it all and uh, get to the next level. And in the process, we all have, because of all of these individual experiences, we all have different tools that help us in connecting back into our divinity and connecting back into the expanded universe. So one of them that I want to talk a little bit about today is humor. And humor is so important. Uh, but it's really funny because somewhere along the line, we have convinced ourselves that humor and spirituality have to be kept separate. Totally, totally separate. We cannot be joking around with the archangels. We cannot be joking around with the ascended masters. But that is far from the truth. I don't know about you. I love to laugh. I love to laugh until I cry. It's like the best feeling in the world. I would so much rather laugh than cry. Not that there's anything wrong with that if you prefer. That's your choice. But I personally love to laugh. <clears throat> Laughter, when it comes from pure love and pure um, humility and, and pure intention, it, it, it lifts us and it keeps us um, looking at things with a much more honest viewpoint in a much more uh, graceful and easy way. I'd, I'd much rather have grace and ease than, you know, pain and suffering. Now, again, not wrong. If that's your choice, that's your choice. Uh, but I'm just talking about from my personal standpoint. However, if you expect humor and you love humor in your life, there's no reason why you cannot have it in your spirituality. Because spirituality is your life. Spirituality is our existence. Uh, you know, we're spirits having a human experience kind of thing. And... A lot of times I get these questions from people who are just starting to deal with uh, communicating with guides and, and communicating with, um, say, archangels and ascended masters, all kind of stuff. And so they'll ask me, well, how do I act? And um, is it okay for me to ask this question? Is it okay? For, how do I approach them? How do I talk to them? And I always say, okay, who, how are you talking to me? Really, how are you talking to me? How would you talk to your best friend, the one person who you love most in the world, who knows you and you know them and you're like, okay, whatever, you know? That's how you would talk to them because it was made clear to me early in this process that when I was doing all this work that um, we're all family. We're all family. Take away the bodies. We're all part of the same thing and we love each other. So why would we not share humor and joy together? And believe me, I've gotten plenty of humor through from guides and, and um, archangels and ascended masters. If you enjoy humor in your life, there's no reason why you cannot enjoy having humor in your spirituality. I'll say that again. I cannot tell you how many times I have um, had just wonderful jokes, had puns, had these riddles given to me, had um, all this stuff show up around me, and I end up laughing and laughing and laughing. You know, sometimes I get a little bit irritated in the beginning. You know, or if somebody has a, you know, plays a joke on you and you don't get it at first, you get a little bit irritated. Well, sometimes that's happened to me. But they know that in the end, when I get it, I laugh. And I do, because I'm like, oh, very funny, ha, ha, ha. But when and I can hear the laughter, I can feel it. And when it comes through, it's so um, full of pure joy and love that it's like the best feeling. So why would you not want to have humor? I, and I'm talking all of them. I'm talking the archangels. I'm talking, you know, Krishna and Buddha and, um, and Jeshua. They, they all have a great sense of humor if you want to communicate with them in that way. So it's okay. It's okay to laugh. 
it's okay to laugh at yourself. It's okay to laugh at each other. Uh, it's okay to laugh at the archangels because, and, and the ascended masters and the um, spirits of light and all the angels and stuff because you're laughing with them and they're laughing with you because it's all it's it's all in love and joy and what easier way to go through all this clearing and think about it we're clearing out now all these fears and anxieties and rejections and resentments and regrets all these things that we have created for ourselves throughout this existence we're not clearing it out and if we want to do it with grace and ease what better way i'm sorry there's no way what better way is there to do it besides using humor in the process. And I swear this is like stuff that's been happening to me all day and I feel like <laughs> all morning and I feel like this is all part of the humor thing. So anyway, the, um, so anyway, so back to the topic. So remember, it's okay to laugh. It's okay to laugh at this. It's great. It's in fact, it's preferable in my, in my case. And if you choose not to, again, it's your choice. Uh, but just food for thought. Now on to other tools. I get these questions all the time about what works, what's better to use, what's, you know, what's the best way to do it. There is no best way. Again, I'm going to go back to everybody's got the individual path. And because of our experiences, because of the culmination of our experiences and what we want to ultimately experience to get to that path of enlightenment, to get to enlightenment and get to Earth, the Earth 2.0, that the different, it's all different flavors of ice cream. And I say that all the time. It's my favorite term to say that. I love ice cream. It's one of my favorite favorite um, uh, desserts and and yet so many people love ice cream but there's like zillions of flavors out there it's all different flavors of ice cream it's the same thing with spirituality and it's all the same thing as our paths up the mountain in ice cream what is it 99 percent of the ingredients are the same but it's that one percent difference of what makes the flavor that makes a difference it makes you like rocky road and me like mint chocolate chip that's okay and that doesn't make either one of us wrong it just makes it our personal preference. It's the same thing with the tools you use and the approach you take with your path up the mountain. And your purity, as long, again, I'm going to go back to as long as it's in love and in pure intention, then it's right for you. So, is it your, is it supposed to be that you do Reiki instead of Theta Healing or you use crystals instead of essential oils? or you use both. No, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, whatever helps you remember that path and entrains you back to that path of that inner divinity and that expanded universe, that's what is key. So it doesn't matter. I had somebody say to me a couple days ago, well, <sighs> crystals just don't do anything for me. And you can almost, I can almost feel that wall that she put up when she said that, like she was expecting me to say, well, what? You're crazy. And I said, okay, so what? And you just looked at me and said, so what? So they don't work for you. So what does work for you? And there are so many different things that do work for us. It's like studying for a test when you're in college or in high school. We all have different ways of doing it. But the goal is to be successful. The goal is to get the A or whatever. And um, this isn't a test. We're testing ourselves. That's all part of the, the key here. But it's the same idea. Do I drive a red sports car or a big honking black truck? Whatever works for me. It's the same thing. So people come to me all the time and they're like, well, I don't know if I should study Reiki. You know, and I'm, I'm talking, these are other tools too. These are, are our tools to get tap back in. Reiki, arcing radiolite, theta healing, um, quantum, quantum touch, healing touch, and there's a zillion others. I, I can even name all of them that are out there today. But... You know, on the tool side, you have astrology, numerology, you have crystals, you have um, essential oils, you have prayer, you have meditation. Whatever works for you, and you, whatever combination works for you, sometimes you want to use all of these other things. And it's just a way of connecting back in. You know, crystals are just a conduit, and they connect us back into Earth. They connect us back into our surroundings. And they, and they act as amplifiers for a lot of energies. So that's why quartz is used in um, electronics a lot, because it's a great conductor of energy energy so but again if it doesn't if you don't feel it you don't feel it and if colors work for you or working in essential oils or you know doing doing a jig around a um, pile of something on one per certain day in a week or something like that 
that's okay too. If it works, if it makes you connect it in, if it, if it allows you to connect back into your divinity, then it's right. Again, and I'm always going to say, as long as it's done with love and pure intention and without, you know, hurting others in the process. So I'm going just to tie this up with uh, over the weekend, I want you to think about what tools truly work for you. If somebody's telling you, oh, you should take Reiki, oh, you should do this, stop and say, wait a second, have I tried it and does it feel right to me? That's really what's important. Again, it goes back to checking in with your higher self and saying, is this the right tool for me to help me on my spiritual path? And on that, I'm going to let you go. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend and we'll talk on Monday. This is Angela with a cup of seed.